out of the world honor for a local teacher. It's all part of the embedded teacher program at Carthage College. Lisa Warner was one of only four teachers in the country selected for a zero gravity flight. But there's something even more unique about this daring teacher. This small school in Dousman was Lisa Warner is a band teacher at St. Bruno Parish School, but she also has a passion for science. And then in February, I got to go down to Johnson Space Center. What is that exercise? They're doing planks. Oh, that, they look painful. <laughs> yes, they are. Warner was one of only four teachers in the country selected for a zero gravity space flight, the only music teacher chosen. What was your immediate reaction when you found out that you were selected? I, I couldn't believe it. I grabbed my phone, I texted my husband, I texted my principal, I texted everybody else I knew, my mom, my dad, everybody, because I, I just, I didn't expect that a band teacher would get to go either. She took off from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, May 8th. Her mission was named SOCIDA. That stands for Sounds of Space in the Air. So we had a naming contest for the name of the mission because every NASA mission has a name. You've got the Apollo, the Gemini, the Mercury, and things like that. The entire school has been a part of this launch. A school contest even helped choose the winning name and patch. Well, when I fly, I'm going to put that on my arm when I fly on my flight suit. And so then I'll, I'll have a piece of the school with me. And Everybody had a little voice. Yes. The symbol adorned the backpack Mrs. Warner took on board. They got to make their own mission patches. And then what I'm going to do is fly oh. with these. They're going to be in my bag for the flight. So their artwork will have flown in zero gravity. And St. Bruno students worked on the science projects that traveled with Mrs. Warner. We are so excited. Principal Mary McDonald is proud of Mrs. Werner and her students. And in this case, the big kids went into the classrooms of the little kids and demonstrated and explained their experiments. The flight gives teachers a chance to contribute to microgravity research and NASA space flight technology. Students showed me some of their experiments before they were launched, like the dancing sprinkles. When we put it up to like our instruments, it makes them move and everything. They're just like normal cupcake sprinkles, so they're really easy to like do. And then when we Miss Warner goes up into like zero g, um, they might react different. This duo shows off their rhythm experiment. Thirteen-year-old Graham Kelchin explains. So we'll have a metronome playing at a beat, and we will play with our drums to that beat. And check out this sound tube experiment with foam beads. So we have this plastic um, container that's full of foam beads. And when, I, and when Liam plays the trombone and I put it next to the bell, then you can see the foam beads vibrate and like move forward. Caleb Hernke and Jacob Ottenad explained their dice experiment. With zero gravity, due to their uh, having no pull down on the dice, it would continue to rotate and stay in motion. That means that there is the probability of it landing on a number is zero. In space, because there is nothing interfering with uh, the object, it will be constantly moving forever due to there, like I said, being no interference, which the interference on Earth is gravity pulling it down. Clearly, kids are enthralled. I mean, what do you like best about this class? Um, I would say the experiments that we do in it. They're very interesting. What have you learned the most? Um, we've learned a lot about sound waves this um, semester. I really like this class because there's a lot of hands-on experiments that we get to do that are always a lot of fun. So what happened when Mrs. Werner was in zero gravity for 11 minutes? Check it out. Weightlessness made the cake experiment a bit tough. Really? This is what happened with the sound tube experiment with foam beads. A celestial experience for a courageous and creative teacher. You bet we are very proud of Lisa, who, might I add, often comes with interesting projects. This is not the only one that Lisa has brought to us. And Warner says one of her goals... To show that music is important and has a place at the table in, you know, space exploration and gravity experiments, I think proves its worth to those who may not 
have experienced music's worth. She also wants to teach her daughters the sky really is the limit. You know, being a mom, I did this because I wanted to show my girls that you know, you can do anything. And Lisa Warner is teaching us all a lesson about conquering self-doubt and reaching for the stars. Throughout this whole process, I've kind of been like, oh, I'm the band director. You know, I, I'm not as, I, I love science, but I'm not super strong at physics. I haven't had a physics class since 2000. So, you know, just to, to look at it and go, yeah, I can do that. And I did earn that spot. And facing that insecurity means mission accomplished. <laughs> Mrs. Warner says she has always been a scientific-minded person. Her dad's an engineer and her mom is very creative. They taught her to look at life from different angles.